This morning we're talking about a devastating eye disorder called keratoconus. It can cause blindness. Yeah, and joining us now is Dr. Brian Boxer Walkler. He's the director of the Boxer Walkler Vision Institute, and he's also helped to save Olympic bobsledder Stephen Holcomb from losing his eyesight. And uh, you also have a new book. It is called How We Conquered Keratoconus. Conus. Is that right? <laughs> you got it. I That's got good. It. It's a it was, tongue twister. <laughs> it is. It is. We want to welcome you to the show. And for many of us who can hardly pronounce it, have never heard of it before. What is this? Keratoconus is a degenerative disease of the cornea. The cornea is the outer lens of your eye, much like the windshield of a car. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, is that it's weak in these patients. So the collagen, which is the structural part of the cornea, like the beams of a building that are supposed to hold it stable, well, the collagen is weak and it can't hold that shape anymore, so the cornea starts to bulge and slip out, and it causes a tremendous amount of distortions, double vision, triple vision, a nighttime vision really affected, glare and halos at night, so it literally robs people of being able to lead a normal life. So this is different than cataracts? This is very different than cataracts because cataracts basically are in a, an opacity mm -hmm. uh, that develops or film on the internal lens of the eye. Mm -hmm. And this is the cornea, so it's still clear, but it's just distorted and bulging. Is there something that people are doing to cause the problem, or is there something that we can do to prevent it? Great question. Mm -hmm. People don't cause themselves to have keratoconus. It occurs, it used to be in about one in 2,000 people. Now it's one in 500. So it's a 400% increase for reasons not clear to us. Mm -hmm. But to your question, if people have keratoconus, two things very important to realize. Number one is do not rub your eyes because that can actually accelerate the bulging mm -hmm. and blurry vision. Mm -hmm. And number two, wear sunglasses outside because the sunlight can stimulate also progression of the disease. Yeah. And Bob Sledder, Stephen Holcomb, talk about his condition and how you helped him. Stephen had the condition keratoconus, and he, at the time, years ago, was the top U.S. bobsledder, the best prospect for winning a gold medal. And his disease had progressed to the point where he basically couldn't see, and as the driver, you can imagine, that's yeah. not really safe. Mm -hmm. He had been to 10 other eye doctors. Everyone told him, you have to have a cornea transplant. And that is the traditional old-school treatment for the disease, but for him in a bobsled, that's not an option because it takes about a year to recover for each eye. And when you're in a bobsled, Steve described this as being like in a bag of peanuts getting shaken up when you're going down the wow, track yeah. and not safe for a transplant. So he had retired from the sport. And ever since he was a kid, imagine his goal, his dream was to win a gold medal. When you're a kid, right, when you grow up, he followed through with that, but now He's basically out of a job, mm -hmm. and his hopes for ever achieving his goals were gone. And he became very depressed, and in his new book, mm -hmm. he actually describes, really in the throes of that depression, how he even tried to uh, end it all, uh -huh. because he was so depressed. And uh, miraculously, he survived that attempt, and then eventually his uh, team doctor found me in this new procedure at the time called C3R, uh -huh. which is a revolutionary non-invasive way of strengthening the cornea so that it stops bulging and that's how we can treat the keratoconus. He came out, we did the treatment, <clears throat> we did another treatment where we inserted a lens implant in his eye hmm. to restore his vision. He actually ended up with 20-20. Uh -huh. <clears throat> of course, could come back to bobsledding, which he did as the driver and then just fueled up the ranks, won the world championship mm -hmm. in 2009, and then won the Olympic gold medal in 2010 at the Winter Olympics in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. And um, and his book is incredible. He's got his book that just came out, too. It's really amazing. And this treatment that you did for him, you do it for others, too. You don't have to be an Olympian to get this special treatment. No, no. <laughs> Everybody, no matter what mm -hmm. they do, and they have this condition, we can help them and we can help restore their vision and save them from a cornea transplant. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming and speaking with us this morning, Doctor. Certainly good information about a condition that we, we never heard about. And again, we want to talk about the book. It is called uh, How We Conquered Care.
Keratoconus. 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 It. It's it. a tricky one to say, but for more information, all you have to do is go to our website, kcal9.com, and click Seen on TV. And we want to thank you again for coming and joining us this morning. It's a pleasure. It's a real pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. We'll get her to practice Keratoconus. I'm going to keep working <laughs> on it. I'll have it ready next time.